Richard, we finally have a deal between the Greeks and their Eurozone creditors. Uh, what does this mean for the Greek banks? In this deal, which was agreed in the wee small hours of this morning, the Greek banks look set to get 25 billion to be recapitalized, of which 10 billion will be made available re immediately. But that depends on the Greek parliament putting all of this stuff through and approving it by Wednesday. So we've got a deal, but only as long as it really goes through. Still a lot of political negotiation to come then. But where, where will this uh, 25 billion euros be useful to, to the Greek banks? Obviously, they're, they're hurting in a lot of ways, but where is it most needed? OK, well, so far we've been talking about liquidity, and now we seem to be talking about solvency and capital. It, it seems to me that the bad debt position in the first quarter had already reversed the position, improving position at the end of last year. I think in the last quarter, things must have got far worse in terms of banks' bad loan, non-performing loan positions. So that is one reason why you're going to need extra capital to be able to absorb the bad loan charges that come through. That's one side. The, it's going to do very little to, to slow the outflows, I suspect, in, in an immediate way because people are still trying to suck out 60, 60 euros a day from ATMs but it could provide the vital confidence to show that things are not totally beyond redemption, and so depositors could slow their panic to deposit withdrawals. And I guess they won't lift any of the capital controls until there's any sign that, that, that people will leave their deposits in the bank, because the, the last thing they need now is more outflow. Absolutely, no time soon. Those, those, those controls are going to have to stay. And in fact, the last time there was a crisis, deposits did flow back, but to nowhere near the extent of the outflows. So again, it's going to be a long healing process, this one. Any clarity yet on, on what the long-term future looks like for the Greek banks? Are we going to have a system that looks like the current system? Do you think there'll be consolidation or mergers or, or some other solution? For the, system? The, the Greek banks have consolidated quite a bit. If, if you look back in recent history, the big four have been buying and bolting on odds and sods, and they've already ridden out the, cri the Cypriot crisis. So there's been an element of cleaning up. The two French banks that were in there, Sogchen and Credit Agricole, have withdrawn. So I think this is now the stable fourth position, but we just don't know how bad things really are per bank. So that 25 billion is quite an important number because it should just reassure us if one bank actually has had a major crisis and its liquidity crisis has turned to a solvency crisis. So we really need to just watch this one and see. Everyone's still in ICU at the moment. So it looks like still some, some tough negotiations ahead. The crisis certainly not over yet for the Greek banks. Richard, thanks very much.